Type man in boxing, led the flare cops. Shout out to Goodfellas Sports TV. Woo! All right, man, let's talk about um, boxing fans that say, well, who did David Benavidez fight? Who did Terrence Crawford fight to deserve an Errol Spitz? And fans that say that, it's one thing to say, well, you know what? I don't have no interest in this fight because I'm not interested, right? But it's a whole other thing to say you don't want to see it. Or you do want to see it. And a lot of these dudes, these fans' job is now to be protectors. And it, it, ain't, it, ain't our, it ain't our job to be protectors. You know what I'm saying? It's like I used to leave keep calling out Stephen Fulton. That's his job. You know? And it's his job to think he can beat the best. You know, all these fighters can go through the phases uh, to get these fights, you know, and then get messed over because of the politics. Because the sanctioned belt bodies, you know, they work for the promoters now. And the promoters work for the fighters. So they, they ain't going to do the right thing in, in, in order uh Benavidez and Canelo, what, in the beginning of November for the WBC convention? They're going to make Canelo franchise champion or do some bullshit about what David Benavidez. People forget he ducked Charlo. Charlo was the mandatory. He got updated the franchise champion. He ducked Dervichenko. Didn't want to fight Dervichenko. Did a fake beef for Golden Boy to drop the IBF to make him look, to look good. Come on. Why is your job to say, well, you know, man, well, what has he done? What did Rocky Fielding do? You know? What did Mikey Garcia do to deserve a, a fight with, with my, uh, with, with, you know, with Errol Spence? You know what I'm saying? It's like, come on. Now we against, you know, the best fighting the best. Now we saying, well, you need to do this and that. Well, Benavidez ain't fought nobody. Neither the fuck did Rocky Fielding. Who did Danny Jacobs really beat? He ain't really beat Irvin Chanko. They gave that belt to him by default. Going around saying, oh, what has he done to deserve a fight? And I'm just looking at people on their resume. Ivan Uterman. What did he do to deserve a fight where Charlo didn't do to deserve a fight? They both was the mandatory. Come on. When did y'all become protectors? When? When you start wondering, what's a better fight than Canelo ben Benavidez right now? Come on. Who's a better fight than Karen Crawford and Earl Spence right now? Y'all talking about what them, them man, when did fight fans start wanting to see the best fight the best? When? When? He want to see this trash ass uh, uh, fighting schedule. Come on, man, these new fans try. Well, you know, Ben Vita ain't did this and he ain't did that. And you know, look at his resume. And look at Rocky Fieldings. Look at Ivy Uterman's. We can keep on on and on and on. We can keep on. Gennady Golovkin ain't really fight beat nobody, bruh. His top, his top two wins are both controversial. Danny Jacobs and Derbachenko. Come on. Oh, man, tired of seeing Canelo versus Golovkin. This shit was trash, the last one. And the other than the first one, one shit to write home about. Crazy. That's how you know they, they fans think a fighter gonna get his ass whooped. You no, know, I mean, what'd he do? He ain't did nothing to deserve this fight. He really ain't did nothing. For what? I mean, he should go have to go fight uh, Charlo first and go do this and do that. Did, did Lonnie Golovkin have to go fight Charlo? Uterman? You know, who, who, who had to go fight Charlo? Plant? She wow. When y'all stop wanting to see the best fights, bro, that's what's turning me off. Y'all allowing these these uh, these promoters to get away with it. That's why I just don't really care about watching this shit no more because it ain't nothing good. Because y'all justify this shit. Every time we get a big fight, let's tear down some party resume. Just say 
You don't think the fighter can win? It's cool. You lose, your O ain't everything. Floyd Mayweather got his O, and he ain't one of the 30 best fighters ever. He's not. Even just take the heavyweights out of it. He's still not. I hate to break that news for you. He's not a top 10 fucking welterweight. No 10 welterweights that'll fuck Floyd up. Just being real. Earl Spencer give him hell. Terrence Crawford to give They probably both beat Floyd Mayweather. Baltimore had him crying in the fucking corner. No, don't, don't give me that old me, no. Man, why don't y'all stop demanding the best, bro? And that's why the casuals ain't messing with this shit no more. That's why the casuals ain't fucking with it no more. Real talk. You get to these fights, and because the best not fighting the best, they duds. Come on. He fought Caleb Plant. I understand he had the last belt to Undisputed. You know Benavidez is going to be a better fight than Caleb Plant. You can book it. These fans just know they fighting with their ass one. That's all it boiled down to. It's okay. There's life after an ass whooping. Trust and believe. Plenty of fighters got whooped. It's life after losing. It is. It's life after losing. You know? You know, but he ain't did this and he ain't did that. And he need to go do this. Who are you to tell somebody what they need to do? If I'm the mandatory, I'm the interim, I got another belt, I already earned my shot. Whatever the criteria is for me to be interim, mandatory, or another champion, let's unify. Boxing really hurt itself from not fighting the UFC model with one belt, bro. It really do. The Earl Smith won't be champion right now. Canelo Alvarez won't be champion right now. He wouldn't. Unless, you know, a couple niggas moved out the way. Like Terrence Crawford said, well, you know, I move out the way. Bitch, you could be champion of me. Okay. Hey, daddy. <laughs> you know, Alvarez had more, have a, more losses, man, than, man, dude. That nigga really got like 10 losses on his fucking resume. Nigga ain't shit special. You watch him fight. Ter Errol Spins more special than Ter er Canelo Alvarez. And neither one of them niggas blowing you out the water. Trust me. You know, but it is what it is. Niggas always say, oh, what has he done to deserve a fight? And what? I mean, I mean, anytime somebody say that, bro, I can see if it's a nigga from, like, uh, in somewhere somebody ain't fought outside their state or their country. I understand it then. When you're talking about niggas who aren't shots, people that, that's moving up the ranks, why not? You know, Fulton just fought Danny fucking Roman, dude. <laughs> Can't be using Mandador or not. Dude, we already see you get your ass kicked. Move on. Move up or something. You know? Terrence Crawford beat Sean Porter. He proved his point. Don't mean he gonna beat Errol Spence, but we get it. Can, can I love, you know, PA was, uh, I was watching, uh, Beeb and them and uh, Julius is on it for Ring IQ. They're talking about Canelo and Benavidez. And I got to agree with Ring IQ. I really don't care. Just fight one of them motherfuckers at this point. Whoever it is, if it's Andrade, if it's Charlo, if it's Benavidez, I prefer Benavidez. But it's one of them. Shit, better be at Bebo. I don't care, bro. I'll pay for it at this point. Any of the five, and I say uh, Charlo, Benavidez, Bevel, Caleb Plant. Four. I watch it. Throw Jamel in there. I, I pay for that. I pay for that. You want to fight Usyk? I pony up for that too because I respect Usyk as a fighter. Shit, I'd probably pay for fucking McAvoy. Honestly, McAvoy cream Canelo Alvarez ass. I pay for all. I pay for all of them. 
Drew talk. But I'm not gonna sit here and say why somebody don't deserve a fight. If they somewhere in the top 10, top five, whatever, I don't care, they mandatory interim shit. Go ahead and get your shot. Get your shine on. Shout out to Birdman. Get your shine on. You the interim, you the mandatory, you WBC, WBA, WBA, Super WBA, IBF, for a reason. They need to stop letting these fighters and promoters and managers handpick shit. Ain't no, ain't no way you the man should have been no mandatory. I don't care what Darrell did to his ass. If that was Charlie on Saint Cyril, Canelo, man, man, that nigga would have swerved right around. Canelo, but why I end with this? It is Caleb Plant fought that we in this. I mean, uh, David being the ass fought the Canelo champion. But all Canelo would have did, to be honest, was say, "Well, I'm franchise champion. I'm undisputed." If Caleb David been the ass held that regular w, uh, WBC title, bro, Canelo Alvarez would have never attempted to fight Ben ass for the title. He would have said, "I'm undisputed with franchise," just like Tiafimo Lopez. Mark my words. He done never knocked on Benavidez's door, so I don't care what nobody said. Benavidez will knock Canelo ass out. He can put all the shit he wants in his ass. I got Benavidez run that hoe out the ring. Canelo ain't the same fighter no more. He getting old. Shit, he got 60 fights. Bad knees, bad wrists. To have some gray in that damn cinnamon in a minute. Man, Vita is a big motherfucker, though. That's why I pick him. Big and athletic. He can take that shit, too. Tarver said Canelo can bit being a Vita ass. I don't know what Tarver's smoking. Shit, Tarver put some money in. We can bet on that. I got Ben Vita ass. And Canelo gonna try to handicap Benavidez, not blow that shit. But yeah, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and that subscribe button, it's the bell and like comment button. Hit all notification, increase your chance, get notification. We go live and drop a video. If you want to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good313. Venmo CJ Good313. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. You can find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Appreciate the love support. One time for the one time. Y'all know what the business is.